Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel I post cool stuff about video production, acting, DaVinci Resolve and how to be more productive and more consistent making videos for YouTube but not only. Today I'm going to teach you how to stabilize your shaky footage. Yes, it's possible to do it in DaVinci Resolve and it is so easy. It is effortlessly amazing. Let me show you how it's done straight away. This is a really cool uh, feature stabilizing your shaky footage um, and, and it's so easy it's so fast I mean it takes about two minutes I mean obviously it depends on um, how shaky your footage is but before we start very 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 important uh, go to uh, your playback settings please make sure you either use uh, optimized media if available or proxy handling it doesn't really matter what matters the most is the timeline resolution i normally prefer it half and most important is is render cache how do you want to render this cache in order for the stabilization to work so always use smart and also the last thing you will need to use the delete render cache in order to see uh the uh, result all right let's uh get uh, back to our project over here so i've got a nice lady here jumping around and uh, let's see how shaky this footage is right pretty bad isn't it right okay let's start and fix it so in order to stabilize your footage you'll have to go here in the inspector you see it's just over there and then you'll be presented with the uh, a lot of features here transform cropping dynamic zoom composite uh, stabilization this is what we need just uh, click on stabilization just over there and then you will see all this uh, cool features there so stabilization uh, it's on now so please toggle this on the red um, button over there so you've got three modes perspective similarity translation so I would recommend you to start with the first one, with the perspective. I think it's probably the best way of both uh, sides. You know, it's sort of like a, it's like a 3D and then, you know, the other one is the similarity. It's a, it's sort of like it compares the, um, uh, the subject and the camera movement and it tries to and make the best result but okay so as i said let's start with a perspective you will have to play around with these options because like no project is the same right okay let me go cropping there smoothness a bit a bit more and strength make it even more okay press stabilize you see it cropped in a little bit more let's do that okay wow that's much better much better it's a bit um, jittering at the beginning, so now I'm gonna go to playback, delete render cache for the selected clip only, okay? Shows me yes, yes please. And now it's gonna render because I put render cache smart. So now it's gonna render at the same time when I'm working. And then let's play it one more time. Wow, that's so so much better if you're gonna put them side by side now so before uh very jittering very very shaky and look at this now so smooth so smooth i mean straight away you can see it's like it's like day and night and i didn't even go into deeper um, mode so let's say perspective is the best mode to use because you use both similarity and translation but then obviously it depends how much you need let's try similarity now and see what th what this one is gonna is gonna do wow it's quite it's quite incredible it's quite incredible even this one works and look at this one this was the previous one to the, the original clip and this is the one that we did and again, don't forget, oh, every single time, don't forget to delete the, the cache. So it renders again with the latest uh, updates on the settings. You see? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Compared to the original one, look how shaky it is. Quite incredible. And if you're going to try translation, I mean, again, as I said, it depends what sort of uh, footage you have because every single footage is different and this is it friends 
So cool, isn't it? With such a simple tool, in about a minute, I can just like quickly do and stabilize my footage so effortlessly. It's incredible. DaVinci Resolve, such a great and incredible tool. I remember doing this on the Final Cut Pro and it was working fine. I used to do a good job, but that computer was burning. You were using so much power compared to DaVinci Resolve. It's so smooth and it doesn't really matter if you have studio version or you have uh, the free version. It works fine in both. Obviously, studio version is going to use um, more you know, GPU and more RAM from your computer. But uh, hey, I mean, we're not doing Halloween productions here. We're just doing videos for YouTube. And uh, one more important thing I wanted to tell you, just this is a the greatest tip you'll ever hear on YouTube. Never stabilize your camera when you're putting it on a gimbal. Never. Turn off stabilization on your camera. Please never do it. Because if you put your stabilized camera on a gimbal, it's going to be a disaster. You will never ever get uh, rid of those uh, jitters and the, those shakiness because it's just a small, small, you know, shakiness that it's very difficult for any software to deal with. So please remember this tip from me. If you handheld it, yes, you can stabilize it. But when you put the camera on the gimbal, don't use stabilization. Trust me. If you want to experiment with that, please do it. But never on a paid project. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, please uh, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more uh, videos like that when I help you. And you know, we're a cool community of filmmakers who are like-minded and who want to grow to follow our passion and our dreams. Thanks so much for watching and take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one and happy creation. Cheers. I'll see you. Bye-bye.